guys and replay viewers who are coming on later, including Rachel, who just told me she would watch later. Uh, hey, Rebecca. <laughs> I'm sorry it took me a while, so I'm glad Rebecca's here. I'm actually doing this today just for Rebecca. I almost didn't do it. Um, so we're going to talk about my budget envelopes today. You made it. Yay. Hi, Allison. Um, I'm glad everybody made it. Let me. I am so tired. <laughs> so I don't make any promises about how the scope's going to go because see, look, I got kid hair and I've been up since the butt crack of dawn. And I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm really. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Tanya. I'm really tired. <laughs> but I'm going to try to do my best here. And nobody has sent me any. Oh, there's my friend Aaron too. Nobody has sent me any recommendations on a tripod, guys. So get what's a program. I need a tripod. A new friend from South Carolina. Oh, oh, look, there's Tanetta. Tanetta, am I saying your name right? Because I feel like I'm not. And Caitlin finally caught me live. We're going to talk about budget envelopes today. And I kind of want to know is, um, yes, those are my new basement curtains. See them? Um, the brown matches my furniture down here. Oh, Tanetta, yay. Okay, good. So, usually I tell you guys somebody that I follow, but I didn't look at my list today. Um, I'll start that back tomorrow so I don't have it written down or anything because I told you I'm tired. And my, you know what? I told you guys that my uh, glasses were crooked and then I finally figured out why my glasses look crooked. It's because my ears aren't on the same place on my head and I figured that out the other day. So my glasses will always look crooked and it's my ears fault so I can't do anything about it. I'm Stacy from Stacy Makes Sense and I'm really tired but we're going to talk budgets today anyway because I posted my budget envelopes. You have the same problem. Well I'm glad I'm not the only person with uneven ears or maybe Rebecca just means she's tired. Um, so I posted my budget envelopes on Instagram today and you guys were super interested and I'm so glad because you know that's our mission. So I'm Stacy from StacyMakesSense.com where my husband and I blog about living debt free and that's um, our mission is to teach others to live debt free as well and we have resources on the blog and posts and stuff um, along that line to help you um, get that way yourself. And I also post recipes and opinion articles because you guys, the people that know me know I'm super opinionated. So we have a new post up on the blog today about why we did not pay cash in advance for my braces, um, which I'll be having put on next week. So first we're going to talk about, oh, I'm sorry, Erin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, this actually is a, I think I paid $29 for this budget wallet. So let me show it to you. This is my new budget wallet. It is from Savvy Sense, and I actually purchased it from Amazon. You do have to pay shipping because it's not on Prime. Um, but I was wanting something that was a little bit cute and a little bit um, more functional than the uh, one I had before, which I will show you right here. So I have always used, whoop, upside down. I have always used, since we were married, the Dave Ramsey uh, budget envelope system because it was just what we knew. So this is actually my second set of envelopes. And the first set I had was his set where you have the paper envelopes inside. And so I used that for years until I actually wore the paper on all the paper envelopes that came with it out. And you can buy replacement envelopes, but I decided that I wanted the leather because he also has a deluxe wallet system where, can you see that? Where the dividers in there are leather so they don't wear out which if you're going to get this Dave Ramsey system which is a little cheaper than the Savvy Sense but not as cute let's just be honest here people because this comes in like 10 or 12 different colors and patterns this and I love Dave but Dave doesn't have anything on this okay so if you're going to go with a Dave because it's cheaper then I recommend you get the ones with the leather inserts because, um, I mean, they're not going to wear out as quick on you. So then you have in this section of the Dave wallet, the zipper pouch section, and that is where your uh, cash will go. And then in the, on the back of the cash is a zipper pocket for your change. I'll use a dollar coupon. I used to use a coupon holder, but 
I'm just, I'm so, I'm so OCD. I have to have, I have to have, <laughs> I just have to. I'm, I'm weird. And then in the second part of the Dave envelopes, it's a button, and then this is actually serves as like your wallet um, area. I didn't like it because I, I just don't like it. I never even use this part. As you can look at it and tell, it looks absolutely brand new because I just didn't like it, so I didn't use it. So there was just something about it that didn't appeal to me. So when I was carrying around my purse, do I use a lot of coupons? I'll take questions at the end, okay, Jennifer? So please, please remind me at the end to talk about that. Um... Do you always just round purchase to the nearest dollar? No. Um, I pay whatever it is. And if I have exact change, I like it. But then I just put my change in here. And my friends call me the exact change queen. So I always have change <laughs> to try to pay if I can. So then I had this. And I had my other wallet in my purse, which I actually call a pocketbook, which most people laugh at me when I say that. I had two wallets in my pocketbook. And it was heavy. I'm actually doing a post on Friday, hopefully, called um, How to Downsize Your Mommy Purse, because that's what I have done. So I didn't want two wallets. I wanted something that was functional that I could put and just have one wallet. So I saw the former Mrs. Jones on Instagram, and she's also a YouTube channel. Um, she's a Dave Ramsey advocate as well. And she has one of these. Um, long live the pocketbook. Yeah, my, that's even what my children call it. Andy calls it pot pot book. So, the, you know, the place where you keep your pot. Except we don't smoke pot here. Okay. Okay. I make lots of jokes too, so if you're new here, don't think, what is this woman's problem? It's just my personality. Okay. So, I went with this instead. It's a kind of an all in one wallet, just like this. But this is cuter. And it zips all the way around. And it still has my change. And I say but a lot. I do. And I never noticed it till you guys pointed it out to me. <laughs> and I'd say I was sorry, but I'm probably not going to change it. So, there you go. It's still got the change purse on the back here. So, I can still keep my change with my actual wallet. I found that this one, whenever I would try to put change in the back of it, it would bulge out and it looked yucky and I didn't like it. So, I actually had... Two wallets and a change purse. Whereas I feel like this one, it's wider, so it's longer here. And I can get more change in it without it bulging out from the side. See, I've got a bunch of change in it right now. And it doesn't look that fat. And it's actually quite slim. So it's very functional. Now, I'm going to try to unzip it and talk at the same time. So I bought this, like I said, from Amazon. And it's going to run you about $30. But it's really cute. And it's... It's really, it's really cute. Okay, so I'm going to flip you around, okay? I might not see questions, so if I don't, um, hey, Erin, you could get one for Christmas. Okay, here we go. This would be a good thing to ask for Christmas, definitely, okay? Now, this is the one side. Oops, and I actually don't even have it fixed, so let me fix it for you. Don't be taking screenshots of my information here. And the one side right here, it's got a place for your cards. And I've got my driver's license and my two bank cards, my Sam's card and my insurance card. And then the back here is where I keep the kids' immunization records because I like to have them with me all the time. And then in the other side right here, I actually think this is for your driver's license. And I don't know if Virginia has a weird size driver's license, but I couldn't actually get my license in one of these holes. So that's why I put it over here. So I put my voter card right here. And this one's free if I have something I need to put in it. And then the back part here, I really like this feature. It's sep She keeps it separate from the other part of your wallet. And it's got a place for a pen. And um, she keeps this part back here separate with a pin. With a pin. With a snap button. So, and the, um, she actually sends tabs. And I keep saying she because there's a, wom there's a woman who sells this. And I think her... She might even have a website. I found her on Google just by searching Savvy Sense. Um, and then it comes with these. But see, then she also sends blank ones. So if some of your categories don't fit, then you can just add whatever category it is that you want to put in there. And so my four categories for cash are entertainment, grocery, miscellaneous, and gifts. And then I have a free tab back here, which actually, since tomorrow is the first day of the month, I had a little bit of cash 
I think 15 or $20 left over um, from the month before, which I will keep in there for an emergency. And then my checkbook I fits in the very back pocket. So I can keep my checkbook with me as well. And it's still, as you can see from the side, it's not fat at all. Now I haven't put my budget in for the month yet because it starts tomorrow and Barry, I'm not going anywhere. And he'll go to the bank tomorrow and get our cash. And I'll put it in each one of these and then I'll have it as the month goes along. So those are the four entertainment, grocery, miscellaneous, and gifts. Those are the four categories, and it looks crooked from there, but it's not, that we use for cash. And everything else we use our debit for because we're purchasing it all online. So I've told you before, and I need to do a scope specifically about cash versus cards. But, um, and, see, and then it just all zips up. And I've been able to fit this into a much smaller purse, which I can do a scope on Friday about downsizing your mommy purse. Um, and this just has worked so much better. Here's my hand, so you can see it's not that big. Um, it's just really streamlined things for me, plus it's cute. And if I needed to go somewhere and I didn't even want to take a purse, I could just grab this and go. Um, so that's really nice too. Or grab this and uh, drop it down in the diaper bag and I'd have everything I needed right in this one thing instead of my two wallets plus my change purse. Okay. So the reason that those are the only cash categories we have is because at the beginning of the month we budget how much we're going to put in each category and those are really the only things that I need cash for. The other things that we have in our budget are usually automatic bill pay which comes directly from our account. Um, or tithe, which we don't pay cash, we write a check. So I don't need cash for tithe. And um, savings, which we directly transfer. And then gas. And the reason I don't do cash for gas now, I did do cash for gas before we had children, but I can't get all three kids of my, all three of my kids out of the car um, to go inside. Yeah, I know, this is super, super cute. Um, I can't get all the kids out of the car just to go inside and pay for gas. So I use debit to pay for gas at the pump. And that's about the only thing that we use debit for. Other than that, we pay cash. Now, like I said, before I had kids, we did use cash. It's just inconvenient to get all three of the kids out of the van um, to go in and pay for cash, uh, go in and pay for gas. I know some people will leave their kids in the van, but I've been afraid to do that ever since. <laughs> Ever since that one mom, you know, got in trouble for doing that and had to go through child services and kind of makes me a little bit weepy, so I try not to think directly about it. Um, I just, I just, we use the debit card. Even Barry uses it, um, so we don't get some cash and some debit. It's just all completely 100% debit for that. I'm going to come back and do another scope hopefully tomorrow about why we use cash instead of debit for everything because that's one of the biggest questions that I get and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now I'm pretty bullheaded about it so <laughs> I'm going to be pretty bullheaded about it tomorrow too <laughs> it's just not going to get any better because I've seen it work and I've seen it not work by using cards um my husband is a financial counselor so um we've seen some pretty scary stuff that's right. You're not going to be, you're not going to over, well, I mean, you could overspend, but we always budget extra for gas so that we know we're not going to accidentally go over. So almost always we spend less in gas than we have budgeted for, but that's okay because then we can roll it over into the next month if we're going to have a long trip or a car trip. Um, so, but yeah, you're not going to say, wow, you know, there's a great sale on gas today. I think I'll take down all my mason jars and fill them up you know, because it's a good sale, and I could just store them in the basement, and that way, you know, when gas goes back up, I'll have my mason jars full down here in the basement, and I won't have to, no, you're not going to really go on a gas spending spree, um, which you might do at Walmart, and I just thought, I have to, okay, I'm going to make a confession, I had to take Annie, fill up the sippy cups in the car. I had to take Annie to Walmart today to the Vision Center. That's where we get her glasses because we don't have eye insurance and that's the cheapest place I have found. And I had a little bit of money left over in the miscellaneous budget. Um, so whenever they were, she got hit in the face with a soccer ball. So 
uh, her glasses were crooked and I had to take her today and um, get those adjusted and they fill lots of gas containers um, they do around here if they think it's going to go up but I was making a joke about you know I was just making a joke um, and while I was there I thought you know I've got this little bit left in the miscellaneous and tomorrow's the first of October I should just go over there and look at those pioneer woman dishes so I did and I ended up buying her measuring bowls and a spatula because I actually melted my spatula last week in the kitchen. So I did pay cash and it was the end of the month so I didn't go over but I have a, um, a weakness for those Pioneer Woman dishes. I'm not going to lie. So anyway, I will take questions now if anybody has them about my budget envelopes. So groceries is pretty much self-explanatory. Entertainment is if we want to go out to eat or anything along that line and I know a lot of people include going out to eat in their grocery budget but um, we kind of felt like we needed an entertainment budget that was separate from groceries because when I have my grocery budget I want it to be spent strictly on groceries so um, there's that yeah you can see them online too can you repeat it's a savvy sense I don't know if you can get up close enough to read that. I don't, or get a screenshot. I don't know if it will. S A V V Y. And I think that's the name of this chat. I, somebody, yes, C E N T S. Um, I named the chat Savvy Sense, so you can see it that way too. Can somebody repeat the question about Barry? Do we make a trip to the bank with a list of specific bills needed? Do you mean like how much cash we're getting out? We have our budget that we do every month, and then. Um, we know how much cash to get out and Barry gets that much cash and he asks for smaller bills and then he brings it home and then we can divide it into the categories that it goes into. As far as bill pay, all of that's automatically set up um, so that it comes out uh, and then Barry looks and uh, balances our checkbook based on the account. I'm the keeper. Barry is the budget maker and the checkbook balancer and I'm the keeper of the budget envelopes. So, if we know he's going to go somewhere and do something, then he will say, hey, I'm going out to lunch and I'll just go and grab some cash out of here and give it to him. And if he has leftovers, he brings it and we put it back in the envelopes. But no, he doesn't carry this around. He is the budget man and I'm the budget carrier. And that's how it's worked out in our relationship. My miscellaneous budget is for um, household expenses like toilet paper or laundry detergent. Um, anything like that that comes up, if I have to buy medications or anything like that, that comes out of miscellaneous. It's pretty broad, and I know most people don't like something that broad. It's just worked out for us because I'm I'm pretty strict in what I will and will not buy um, on that. And some people also include, you know, paper towels and that type of thing in their grocery budget. But like I said, I want groceries in groceries. Do we have blow money? Yes, we just get cash out each month. So last night we had our budget committee meeting and we decided how much cash we needed out and we wrote a check. So I got a check out of here and we wrote that check and Barry uh, ran out of time today. So he'll go to the bank tomorrow and get that cashed and he'll bring it home and then I'll divide it and put it in its right category in my wallet right here. Um, do we have blow money? Yes. Um, not a lot because we're not really blow money kind of people, but... Every month we will leave a certain amount in the checking account called unallocated and that is money that we will use if we need blow money per se um, but we don't we just call it unallocated um, so yes we do have that every month and it's not a whole lot do you separate purchases by category or estimate the amounts and pay once also you mean like if I'm at the grocery store and I have milk and bread and then I have TP is that what you mean okay I will I usually estimate it in my head so if I'm like okay well I've got mostly groceries in here but I have six dollars worth of toilet paper then I'll pull six dollars worth out of my and I usually try to keep smaller bills in here so that I can make change I'll pull six dollars out of miscellaneous and put it over into my grocery budget so that I'm putting that money back where it goes and I can still just pay in one um, transaction. But, I mean, if you wanted to, if you wanted to pull all your miscellaneous out and say, okay, I need to do two orders. I've never had a cashier say no. Now, sometimes 
I do that like whenever I was coupon. Oh, somebody asked me about coupons. Whenever I was couponing at CVS, I would have multiple transactions where I would try to um, keep things in their right category because I was doing so many transactions when I was couponing. Do I still coupon? Very rarely. I still do use coupons if I find them on something that I'm going to use, but now we save money um, buying in bulk um, instead of using coupons because the more children I have and with adding homeschool, um, I was spending hours a week on coupons and I just don't have that time anymore and I found I can save just about the same by using less and buying in bulk. Yes, we've used cash since uh, we got married. We did our budget before we got married and we knew how much we had to spend on our honeymoon. So we actually took our budget envelopes on our honeymoon. <laughs> Um, so we started day one with our budget. So we have always done cash since the beginning. And I know Dave, Dave Ramsey says that doing, um, cash from the beginning is a good idea. It helps you not to overspend. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. Where do copays fall? Um, copays fall on medical expenses, which is something that we leave, um, usually if I have to go to the doctor and I have to pay a copay, I will ask them to send me a bill and then they'll send a bill and then we'll mail a check later so that we've budgeted that into our budget but we mail a check later as we get the bill so I don't keep cash because I never know you know if we have to run to the doctor that would be kind of a not really an emergency it's been paid for um, but I don't get it out in cash I send a check which I kind of consider check more like cash than I do check more like a debit card but maybe it's not so we just ask for them to send us the bill and then we pay it that way that's how we handle medical expenses. I think I've been on here about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Does anybody have any more questions? I talked about coupons and I talked about, um, yeah. So this one is, like I said, cheaper. These are both available on Amazon. Um, and I mean, it lasts a long time. So, I mean, it's leather. Ugh, it might be pleather. It looks like leather. Um, and it's, it's very functional. And it, it's hardy, and I mean, if you were, if your man, if your husband is going to carry it anytime, I mean, this might be a better option for you. I'm not sure how many husbands will be like, honey, please let me carry your budget envelopes to work today. That's probably not going to happen. So, I mean, if it's going to be a joint carry, does he carry any cash at all? Um, yes, he does. Um, he will carry some of the unallocated usually um, around with him. Now, at the end of the month, sometimes, if we have, how do you check your online purchase? I'll talk about that tomorrow when we do cash. Okay, Rebecca, can you please remind me to cover that? Um, if we had, like, t today's the last day of the month, so we had a little bit left, and I think there's still, uh, like, like I said, I think about $15 in there. Well, I used about that much today at Walmart on Pioneer Woman Dishes, so I'll probably give Barry the leftover cash from this month. So whatever we have left over at the end of the month, we will sometimes divide between both of us to keep each in our wallets in case we're somewhere uh, and we need cash or we need something that we didn't budget for, because there's all, there, <laughs> there are going to come times when like Rebecca was asking me questions today where something come up with her family. There's going to be times when things come up and you're like, oh, I didn't budget for this. And so for those instances, we like to have a little cash um, set aside for that. And the way we get that is by keeping what we've saved from the month before. Some months there's nothing left and then some months there's a little bit more left. Um, so it really depends on how busy we are during the month. But the best way to save money is to stay at home, everyone. That's the number one best way to save money. In case you didn't know. So tomorrow I'm going to come back and um, so do tell me before I get off here people who are still left. Um, I don't think there's many people on here. It tells me there's just 18. So people who are here, is night good to scope or is nap time better to scope? Um, either one of those except for Amazon gets me. <laughs> no, we'll talk about Amazon tomorrow. It's never too late. Um, it's never too late to start. Well, I'll tell you, it is too late to start um, when you're dead. So as long as you're still living and breathing, it is not too late to start a budget. And the way you can start a budget is by deciding you're done. Um, that's the same way that we've been able to con Mari and clean out this house is we just decided we were done with junk. So when you're just when you decide you're done with living in debt, and that's that's when you'll do it. And it's hard at first, anytime early morning, oh good heavens, early morning is like around here. 
Oh, thank you, natural loving mom. You're so sweet. I just love you. I'm going to get you on cash before you know it. You better come back to the scope tomorrow. I'm doing it for you. Um, yeah, I don't think, just like I was telling someone the other day, they said their child was, um, over to maybe 10 and she was afraid it was too late to teach her child how to save. I'm having trouble getting out of, then you're in the right place. Um, I'm sorry, Rebecca. I'll try to do some of both just for Rebecca. Um, it's never too late, okay? Whenever you decide, I mean, it's just like anything else in your life. You think, gosh, I really probably need to get healthy. Is it too late for me? No, you're not dead. Oh, gosh, I probably need to learn to read, but I'm only five. Is it too late for you? No, you're not dead. It's never too late to learn until you're dead. So that's my lesson from today. Is it too late to learn to use cash? Absolutely not. You have not failed them. Absolutely not. They are not. I'm 16 and 13. They can start saving for their own cars in college right now. Um, Barry and I both went through college debt free. Barry paid for all of his and my parents um, were able to pay for mine because they saved um, since the time I was born. So I got to watch them do that so I learned that way and I also was on scholarship so no absolutely it is not too late not whatsoever oh man. now see when you're debt free you need to budget just as much as if you were not debt free because where is your money going if you're not telling it where to go if you're debt free and your money's just floating around and you're not telling it hey you go into savings hey you go into college fund hey you go into pioneer woman dishes it's just going to float around in your account you need to tell your money where to go and that's why you should budget so i'm very i'm very passionate about budgeting so i can talk about this all the time if you guys want but i've been on here now for 25 minutes i have to get off here um, because I have to go to sleep and I'm tired. So tomorrow we'll come back. We'll talk about cash. So get up all your cash questions in your head and tomorrow we'll tackle that. And I will try to do it again at 830, um, since that seems better for you guys. So, or most of you guys. So we'll do it tomorrow at 830. And, um, thank you for all the questions. And again, I'm Stacy from StacyMakesSense.com, where you can go and get our budget, free budget download called Automating Your Budget, and that's the budget template that we use every month. Um, and Barry created that free template for you to download. So here it is, Savvy Sense Wallet, available at Amazon, around $30 and worth the money. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a good night, and thanks for tuning in. And tomorrow I'll try to remember the... Um, somebody to recommend. Sorry, sorry, I forgot that. So, sleep tight, House of Stadler. And if I pronounce that wrong, please forgive me because I'm really bad at pronunciation. Stay dry. Yep, I will need it. Our, the, it's about to start raining again tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. I had a good time as always.